two months away. Arkansas, of course, is in the path of totality, and cities are preparing for a massive influx of out-of-state tourists. Channel 7's Andrew Mobley spoke with North Little Rock City officials today about the best places to set up shop north of the river. Andrew. Like other cities in the path of totality, North Little Rock sees the eclipse as a great opportunity. The city is offering $25 parking passes the day of the eclipse at Burns Park and the Riverfront Park next to the Arkansas Inland Maritime Museum. You're talking about one and a half million people coming into Arkansas above what we already have, so it's, it's, it's a large event. We want to be a part of it. Stevens says profits will go into the park fund. Other eclipse viewing sites are also planned in the city. Dickey Stevens Park, for which the city just approved a new roof, will host its own event. We want to put our best foot forward without a doubt, not just in our city, but all around. So people will be coming here. There's places going to be in Burns Park, Dickey Stevens Field, the airport, on our riverfront, our, our, the Arkansas Inland Maritime Museum. So we're looking at all places that people could come, set up a chair, relax, and enjoy the solar eclipse. And according to North Little Rock Tourism, many, many people will be coming to town. We anticipate probably the city of North Little Rock to double or triple in population. The unprecedented numbers of expected tourists is a challenge the city is preparing for. Crisis management planning, but also um, working with our partners and like our restaurants, our hotels. Long story short, the pressure is, is if you're not prepared. I think we're going to be very prepared, prepared for what we're going to do. And we've been talking about this for even last year. With only two months left to go, the anticipation for the once in a lifetime eclipse is palpable statewide. Never seen anything like this though. Never seen. This is this is going to be very exciting and uh, can't wait. Those interested in reserving a spot at Burns Park or the riverfront for the eclipse can click the link on our digital story at KATV.com. On your side, I'm Andrew Mobley. Okay, Andrew, thank you. The city of North Little Rock has also created an information guide for the April 8th eclipse. You can find it at uh, nlr.ar.gov.